All right, pomegranate is the fruit of hope, regeneration, and celebration of the new year, and we know it has antioxidants, but now Dr. Ruth Gabizon is proving the neurological benefits as well, and we are so happy to have such a superwoman here. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Chanel Tova. for all of you. Yes. Thank you. First of all, not surprising, you know, the pomegranate is talked about, you know, it's used throughout history, there's a reason behind it. Mis like, it's our fault, isn't it? And nothing, you know, everything is connected, right? And everything is connected. Uh, but in this case, you know, it was a more complicated story because, um, you know, we know our nerve cells uh, are very spe specific and we need them a lot. And the problem with them is that although they can live a long time, it's not forever. And at some point, they begin to die because of damage of oxidation that they do to themselves through respiration protocols, which are our normal life. And they, we cannot replace them in any way. So we need a way to keep them as long as we can. Mm -hmm. And this is true for normal aging. And obviously, it's also true for a neurogenic diseases where well, all this process of aging and of dying cells is even faster. And there are uh, people that get these diseases just like that sporadically and others that get it genetically because they have genes that make the cells die faster because of proteins that aggregate and other problems. Right. And so we need an antioxidant actually very strong that will get to the brain and keep these cells going for as long as we can so we can live longer and be alert uh, more uh, what longer. made you think to kind of like realize, hmm, maybe there's a cashier between well, the actually, pomegranate and, um, and brain cells? It all cells. started from myself buying a cream for my face in a trip that we did and seeing that it's great. And then I went to see what this cream is and I find out that polycic acid or omega-5 is the main component of pomegranate seed oil, considered to be the fastest, the strongest antioxidant in nature. Wow. However, if you just drink uh, pomegranate seed oil, it all goes to the liver, gets digested, and we know all fat where it goes, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> so we actually needed a way to uh, to make it go to the brain. And this is when I uh, put together some efforts with Professor Shlomo Magdasi from the Nanotechnology Center of the Hebrew University, and we put together nanotechnology and pomegranate. I mean, how more Israeli can you go? <laughs> and uh, uh, we found out that if you take the big oil drops and you cut them to small nanodrops, then they won't stay in the liver, but actually go into the blood. From the blood, they can they know how to go into the brain by themselves, this special lipid, which is in the pomegranate seed oil. And there, they can do this process of cleaning the nerve cells out of uh, free radicals and garbage, which we have there wow. all the time. So we actually don't even touch the mechanism of aging or of neurodegeneration. We just do cleaning, keep the cells healthy for longer time with the garbage, with whatever is the process. So we have not kind of discovered anything special, but we have taken our thought, our technology methods, and make it as best as we can so everybody can take it and live longer. But this is obviously very promising. I mean, it's it very, very, very promising, promising. I mean, yeah. to know that you are advancing science. I mean, it's, it's actually like great. the dream of every, yeah. of every doctor. Yeah. But do you see, you know, in the next few years as this continues that it can be something that can also be used just for people before aging to kind of prevent we the cells from dying off? We definitely believe it uh, as a preventive uh, treatment for people before aging Alzheimer, Kreutzfeldt, Yakov, Parkinson, and so. Because as I told you, once our brain cells die, there is no way of regenerating. So we need to do it in advance. And also, uh, we have to remember that aging is for everybody, and Alzheimer is for half of us, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the statistics I was looking, yeah. in, to, by 2030, the dementia rate is expected to double to 70 million Exactly. People. Can you imagine? So if... Uh, is it just because people are living longer? Uh, that's that's really so. the reason? Yeah, and... But so it's not environmental factors. Yeah, so many, and many of my colleagues are working on very, very expensive treatments, specific antibodies, small molecules, and this will cost a lot of money, so we need something that we can give to everybody as prevention and uh, maybe not the perfect medicine but good enough to leave you more 10 years or uh, as an alert adult that, adult that can have a good life mm -hmm. isn't it what we want I mean we want to uh, get to a certain age, maybe retire, with the, and then have and a you good want to time. remember what you do yeah. when you retire. Have, <laughs> have the best time that we can. Can this be used? Do you see this one day being uh, incorporated into a cure? Like, is it possible yes, to cure definitely. One day? Uh, I don't know if the, the cure is possible. This is a great debate, you know, because as I said, there is no going back in neurology. 
So the question is, how can we handle this of the cure? But definitely, if we can do prevention and for this, for the oxidation, and other people discover uh, other uh, components that can prevent the aggregation of proteins, which are junk inside our cell brains, definitely this will going to be part of the cocktail. And definitely, I see it today as as the cocktail that we need. You know, we take aspirin, uh, we take care of our blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, and everything, which actually are all components of this component uh, of this complex cocktail that we have, just to let us live better. And of course, we also have to take care of our brains. Right. Wow. It's really very, very promising, exciting, and. You know, no coincidence, you know, that, that science is now starting to catch up to what all of the ancient people knew about these superfoods. No we didn't even know it as a superfood, the word superfood, like 10 years ago. I know, but we have to remember <laughs> that we need the superfood and then we need the science to yeah. make it better. And this is what that's why we have smart, beautiful doctors like you to be able to make this, uh, <laughs> make this link. That's what we have to do. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Uh -huh. Shana Tova, Shana Tova. Great work. Great work. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. your digital world.